In November 2020, Kim Hughes faced his biggest test. A choice between alcohol or his family. He'll never forget that conversation with his son Brad. You know, he said you could injure yourself or, or worse, kill somebody. And he said, well, what value are you going to be? So it was maybe a real brutal honesty that I really needed for me to take the next step. And um, I'll, I'll always remember it and thank him for it. The cricket great has battled alcohol addiction for years. It had already finished his marriage and was now threatening his relationship with his entire family. The thing that I was really struggling with was that I was distancing, all my children were distancing themselves from me or I was from them because I didn't want to be around them smelling of alcohol. To the outside world, it's an almost unimaginable fall. And he's pulled that off. His stumps is going out the fourth quick of the front century. A chase round for Imran. It's going to be pretty close, but it's a ball that's going to win, and that's the 100. From holding the second highest office in the land as Australian cricket captain... It's obviously a terrific challenge, and I've got to do well. I think that's the most important thing. And listen to this crowd from Western Australia. They've gone absolutely wild as Kim Hughes has reached the century here on his home ground. To an increasingly reclusive life centred around alcohol. When he told me that he was drinking early morning, getting up and having wine and that in the mornings, um, I got Richard involved and I, I, I went to Bradley and the family and just said, look, we've got to do something about this. I work in the mental health field. I felt I could offer something um, to him. I could see it, him being a headline, you know, unfortunately, you know, the un not a good headline. When COVID hit, speaking engagements that kept Hughes tethered to the community disappeared and he retreated even more. We weren't seeing him too much then, but I was hearing, you know, through, through Wayne and a few others that he wasn't doing too well. You know, he's kind of at that point where something bad could happen. He's not in a good way, he needs help. The pair, along with another friend, Richard Manass, knew they had to act staging an intervention at a cafe. Their message was tough, but clear. I knew I needed to do something. Don't tell us, don't talk about it, but do something. Within three days, Hughes was in a rehabilitation clinic. Kim went into the clinic for a fortnight and he was exposed to drug and alcohol at its hardest end. Abbotsford, which was a real eye-opener it had a profound impact. He's now been sober for 18 months. We all went and saw him whilst he was in there and he was able to describe what he witnessed. And I think that was a turning point for Kim. Were you an alcoholic? Is that how you would describe yourself? Yes, I was. And would have got a lot, lot worse. Life is now radically different. He's reconnected with his children and grandchildren and is back on the speaking circuit, this time as an ambassador for mental health, talking about his own battle. Hughes believes none of this would have been possible without support. You can't do it by yourself. You, you know, you, you, you can't. Well, I, I don't think you can, um, because there's too many temptations. To, to sort of think, well, I'll just go off track here. So you do need professional support. To family and friends, the change is remarkable. I mean, it's been incredible that he's gone from drinking as much as he was to basically going, you know, sober and being able to maintain it for, for this long. I think it's been, um, yeah, amazing. Hughes now keeps a weekly diary reflecting on his progress and lives by a new mantra, inch by inch, it's a cinch. Mate, I could have ended up bloody drunk in the streets. You know, I said, oh, there's a former Australian cricket captain. Have a look at him now. I'll never go back to what it was like before.